posted October 7, 2017 away 3928 at 36 years old, with a year between fights, you could forgive Daniel Giel for easing into boxing retirement. Daniel Giel Boxing Record Divisions, Light Middleweight, Middleweight, Super Middleweight Total Fights, 36 wins, 31 wins by Co, 16 losses, 5 losses by Co, 3 next week will mark 12 months since his second round knockout at the hands of Upand comer Reynold Quinlan in front of a hometown Launceston crowd. All signs point to Giel hanging up the gloves that brought him two world middleweight titles. But the fire still flickers for the Tasmanian. I'm not really ready, he said. When the time comes, he'll be happy to make the decision. I thought I was going to be ready but I'm just not. The past year has been spent with his young family in New South Wales. He is keeping fit in anticipation of his next bout, but four losses from his past six fights stretching back to 2013, has meant the offers have dried up. There's been nothing put to me directly, he said. Nothing asking me for fights, or offering me money. Giel has always been a stayer though. And, as he's done all throughout his long career, he's more than happy to remain patient. I've enjoyed the time where I haven't been too focused on other stuff. It's been good to put some time into my kids and give some time to my wife. Giel said he would not going to be chasing money or anything like that. If I decide to get back in there, I'm going to do it for the right reasons. When that right call comes, he'll be like a loaded spring. He insisted he is only ever a handful of months away from being fight ready. For my past 20 or so fights, it's always taken me about three months, he said. If it had to be a bit quicker, I reckon I could. I could still do it if I wanted to. His attitude may seem stubborn, but Giel's transition from full-time fighter to trainer also keeps the fire burning. He's recently been reunited with 25-year-old New South Welshman Nathan Weber, a former amateur he ushered into the boxing world when he was just 13, 12 years on. Weber is now a fledgling pro. Giel's experience and knowledge of boxing politics is a perfect match for Weber's youth and potential. It keeps me motivated and fitter, he said. I've got a lot of experience in the sport and to be able to give some of that off to the next generation, that excites me. Knowing what managers and coaches go through, I think I can add a lot to Nathan and help his career. Giel is unsure of who he will touch gloves with next, however, his name is always linked to Anthony Mundine. He was famously, and controversially, defeated by the man in 2009, before squaring the ledger in their 2013 rematch. The Tasmanian said he would end he turned down a decider with the fellow veteran. It's been thrown around a little bit, he said, I'm not sure how keen his camp were on it. But if we could come to terms, I definitely would end he say no, he said. A move back to Tasmania is on the cards too, with his own boxing academy and a series of gyms on Giel's radar. It is something I've spoken about with a couple of people, and I guess we'll see in the next couple of months how things go. As he has shown so often inside the ring, whatever Giel's next move is, will almost certainly be the right one. Topics Boxing, Martial Arts, Sport, TAS